Hey guys, welcome back. We uh, fought this super fast spidery dude with claws. Uh, we came outside and there's this... There's this bridge. Hear that little... Chime? That means something else is down here or does that mean there's something hidden? It's very subtle. We already got what was under there. Uh, we managed to get over to that section and activated a uh, an idol. Oh! Wow, I'm just seeing this now. I was totally prepared to cross this bridge. And now that ain't happening. Okay. Problem solved, but the snake is gone too. I almost wonder, I'm like 90% sure. I'm like 90% sure that that bridge was full before. Maybe he... Maybe if we were to have crossed it, he breaks it down. And then we fall in here anyways. I'm gonna go with that assumption, because it's much more comforting. Alright. Let's just heal. Uh, if we start carrying a bunch of stuff, we'll try to increase our unseen aid, but... Right now, our inventory is kind of low. We should actually go and check out that new prosthetic. That's not what I wanted. And I want to say we might be sitting on a gourd seed as well. Omeza. Divine Abduction. Required materials, large fan. Okay, so hold on. Use the fan of leaves to wrap yourself in whirling winds. While using the vortex, right trigger again, Divine Abduction. Release the winds around an enemy, making them suddenly face the opposite direction. Aside from certain strong enemies, they will lose sight of you and be vulnerable to a death blow. That seems really strong. Let's look at the upgrade path as well. Okay, so it's next. We need money. Gathering Maelstrom. And this can be released twice. Huh. I hesitate to upgrade something that I don't know what it does, but that seems, like, really strong, doesn't it? Because it basically sounds like a free death blow. So now we have long spark for this other thing. Cool. What are you carrying? Anything else? The droplets. Um, we bought the gourd seed. And these memos, but I think I think we know those memos. The pagoda I didn't end up seeing when we were in that area, but I feel like the Sabamaru is that other guy, the quick one. And uh, the other thing we should do is revisit some of those previous places. Nice, yeah, there we go. A quick one that we could do is revisiting the guy who asked us to kill rats. He's at the uh, castle gate, I think. And I don't know if he has, like, a certain amount that we need to kill, or maybe he's got more tasks for us or something, but... At least we'll have this done. So three resurrections, seven heals, big health bar. Feels pretty good. 
but the enemies get stronger too, right? So it's kind of like everything scales up. <laughs> and we caught a couple. Ashina Esoteric Text. Companion of the Ashina Sword Style allows one to learn Ashina Style skills. The text reads like a history of Ishin Ashina battles. When young, Ishin fought desperately time and time again, polishing his technique in the blood of his enemies. He consolidated his learnings under the Ashina Style name for the sake of his clan's dominance. <laughs> You just win. That's the most important role. Nice. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, cool. Okay. So this is a whole other thing? Holy frick, it is. Combat Ichimonji delivers a heavy one-hit overhead sword strike, deals high posture damage, and also recovers one's own posture with a strong forward step. Single-minded mastery of this technique is the heart of the Ashina style of strength. Once mastered, can likely be improved. If you hold it, you gather strength to release a full-powered overhead strike, recovers posture and stepping in. Cool. That is really awesome. That's really cool. Okay. So when we get to two skills, we'll invest. Adamantite scrap. We are into the great unknown, guys. What the hell? Oh. We're fighting monkeys. That was nice. Why are we fighting monkeys, I wonder? Also, let's... Oh, these are probably good against beasts, right? I'm not sure if that was the correct way of doing it. I'm not sure if I'm using that correctly. Gathering Maelstrom. Use the leaves to wrap yourself. While doing that, divide abduction. Making them fate. Okay. Oh, 
That's cool. Okay. Oh, that is good. Contact medicine for poison? I hear him above us. Echoes. Sleep tight. Feels so powerful, I'm just killing helpless monkeys. Christ. What have I become? Oh, what? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's close. Okay, also this thing. RB after the after the back stuff. Look how expensive it is. I've, I'm probably not seeing the value in it as much. Maybe in a group setting it's better. Okay, so if we followed the hands... Whoa. What the hell? I don't know about that. Seems like a surefire way to get my ass kicked. Should we try it? <laughs> okay, so we missed that thing over there, but... Oh, you know what? Here. Is that something I can... Oh, wow. Look at that. Bigger monkey. Paper chimpanzee. The problem is... Uh, once we come down here, seems like I'm like, I'm hard committed. Bodhisattva ba Valley. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to follow that normal path and we'll see what happens in that group of monkeys. It looked like there was something else there. Yeah, okay. Oh god. Ooh. That's heavy. Oh. That ain't happening.
There's what we saw. Oh no! See, I really like that. Against tougher enemies. Feels quite nice. I can probably just spam. Oh, I'm doing the thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's so many. My back. Some of them have swords, some of them don't. Man. I'm sometimes going into that combat art without wanting to. Monkey booze. Alcohol created by dew pooled in a hollow tree. Fruits hidden by monkeys in hollow trees can sometimes ferment and turn into sake. While it's known for its brutally harsh flavor, some find this acquired taste irresistible. Monkey booze. Is that just a sake replacement? Yeah, I guess. Or maybe not a replacement, but... Guess we're heading over here. So there's definitely action down here. Uh, but there was monkey action over this way that we saw the big guy. rest up here. 
that guy there. Doesn't look like it's super deep. Why can't I grab that? Oh, Jesus. I'm just, uh, seeing where this leads me, which isn't anywhere. Okay, I wonder, this is going to be like a thing, right? Holy shit balls. Okay. Oh, what is this? He's got a... Damn. Oh, are you serious, bro? Wow, that's pretty uh, special. Did he just fling poo? Wow. Okay, he's down to half, though. See, he has a grapple on him at some point. There. Okay. That's actually... What the frick do I do against that? Whoa. He's just wild. Oh shit.
Get me out! Wow. Please only have one phase, bro. Oh shit, actually. Now that. Okay. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. I legitimately thought that, that he would have multiple phases. And that was not looking good to start. Now, we didn't get a... Uh... Oh, you gotta be kidding. He does have multiple phases. I was just gonna say, we didn't get a... Uh... Like an achievement or anything. Oh, <laughs> Okay. That's terror, right? Shit, shit, shit. Okay, okay, I see, I see. When he does that, it's a straight up run. Wow, dude. Okay, then. Okay. Let's see what else he's got. Oh, he takes down all the trees, too. I just realized that. He does not take a lot of posture damage by blocking. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well, we may not get him this time, but I feel like we can definitely get him on the next one. Let's use up one pellet here. I think we can take him, guys. I think we can take him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end here, a little monkey hanger. But when we come back, we're gonna beat his ass. All right. Wish me luck. Bye for now. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy charms too. Let me do that now. I hate to do it. I keep calling them charms, but I'm just gonna use them all. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.